Good afternoon, traders. Thomas Delello here on Fed Minute Day here at about 2.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, August 22nd. Fed Minutes were released about uh, well, about 35 minutes ago. just wanted to talk today real quick about how we trade in the market with a frame of reference and how important it is that we create that frame of reference in order to conduct our business in the market. You know, in, in, in order to become a successful trader, it's so critical that we understand the actions and strategies that successful traders are employing in their trading and, and how they differ from those that unsuccessful traders use in their trading. And one of the things that successful traders, smart money, do consistently in the markets is create a frame of reference. In, in fact, if you think about it, how could you operate in the market without a frame of reference? You know, if you think about how you buy and sell things every day in your life, you use a frame of reference, whether it's a high ticket item like a house, you're going to get an appraisal. If it's a matter of going to the grocery store and buying a bundle of bananas, you have a frame of reference. You're not going to pay $15 for that uh, bunch of bananas because you know you can get it for three bucks at the store down the block. You have a frame of reference. So why would you want to operate in the market any differently, right? Yet so many retail traders are operating in the markets based on their emotions, not based on a frame of reference as far as where value is, where you know they don't attempt to identify the important zones of price in the market where they want to do business the the areas in the market that represent good value to be business to do business areas of retail value above the market supply in order to look to be a seller areas of demand below the market in order to look to do business to the long side as a buyer now this is just an example of how our screens looked as the fed news came out right about here two o'clock and you know it's volatile. The, the news is just coming out. Everybody's reacting very emotionally. But, you know, a smart money traders, we have our frame of reference. So we, we're already interested in this area. It's a swing zone. We have it highlighted as an important zone. You notice the difference between this zone and this zone. It's, it's a thicker highlighting. So there's, there's a, you know, a way that we can identify the strength of one zone over another. But it's about letting the market get into the area that we're interested in doing business. And then, you know, we're, we're looking at the real-time water flow at that point for confirmation. And at that point, as it got into that area, we're looking at uh, right about here. And what happened was it turned into what we call uh, an inventory transition. We squeezed out shorts from yesterday. Uh, that line's since been taken out, so we erased it. But at the same time, even here, from a most basic standpoint, we're looking at momentum, momentum of the buy pressure. As the market's coming into that zone, what's happening? There's stops getting hit, right? So longs are getting squeezed out. They're the ones that are creating the demand. And as soon as those longs are done getting squeezed out, I'm sorry, shorts are getting squeezed out. And as they get squeezed out, they create demand. As soon as those shorts are getting squeezed out, they're done. There's no more buying. Smart money's not buying those new highs. You know, we had a divergence in the buy pressure, meaning less buy pressure. We're watching breath, which was selling off the time, showing us weakness in the cash market. So, you know, it's rock, not rocket science, guys. You know, it, it comes down to being able to accurately identify and predetermine exactly where the important areas of price are in the market that we're interested in doing business. And when the market gets into these areas, knowing what we want to see to either confirm opportunity or to tell us to step aside. Trade patient, trade, trade well, everybody. I hope everybody had a great day today. Be careful out there. A lot of volatility coming into the market. Euro's rallying now. Um, and we might finally be breaking through this zone, but you know what? We've, this is going to be the third time that we're coming into this zone. And this is a zone we put out, by the way, in our morning market preview video. And the market f hit into this zone actually after 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30, sold off into demand, back up off of this zone after the Fed. And now again, kind of getting hung up here a little bit and reacting. You know, maybe it gets through here now. Um, that remains to be seen. See what happens with breath here. Breath is starting to tick up a little bit, but we'll, we'll take it as it comes. But the fact remains is that it provided opportunity for us as the market's coming into right after the Fed. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll talk to everybody soon.